And out of fucking nowhere, right? They're like, so so they have a character in Azure Lane called TB, and TB is like this AI assistant type character that shows up sometimes in the story and sub she's like an NPC, right? She shows up sometimes in the story and in one of the game modes, she's like the character that pops up on the screen and says, Oh, you without any of the database stuff, right? And the whole thing is you're raising the AI from literal fucking toddler, cute, adorable, cunning girl to whatever personality ends up happening based on your decisions. And it is literally princess trainer, cunny trainer. You, 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 you fucking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm seeing you switching around. You, 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 yeah. So you go, oh, this is happening. You also have these little like mini event things. So like if you go to the park or whatever, as you can see on the screen right now, you'll have like, oh, she played with the duckies and you get the cute little thing of her patting the duckies and she pats the ducks. And then you'll have other little interactions where she'll like, you know, you have little conversations with her where she'll like be doing these adorable things. Um, And one of them actually like fucking killed me. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's like, and they're all really good. It's all really, like they put so much work into this, Ali. Like it's actually insane like all the different artworks and all the different little conversations she has and all the different little things like for a little mini game thing that they're kind of like beta testing right now just to kind of see how popular it is that yeah they've put like so much work into this it's actually insane um because it's like a small part of this mobile game right like it's a small thing of you know, the overall Azure Lang thing, but man, it has taken off. People love it, and I love it too. I think it's like the best thing they've added to the game. It... Uh, yeah, that's that was my stuff. So Naretsu. Yeah, I have, I have something to talk. I have something to talk about. Yes. Yeah, so Azure Lane, right? We all know Azure Lane. As Azure Lane, the, the 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 waifu ship waifu ship game, right? They had an update, and out of fucking nowhere, right? They're like, so so they have a character in Azure Lane called TB, and TB is like this AI assistant type character that shows up sometimes in the story, and some she's like an NPC, right? She shows up sometimes in the story, and in one of the game modes, she's like the character that pops up on the screen and says, oh, you, we're done with this area, let's move on. Oh, we done this, this, this. And she shows up in the story every now and then, but she's like very much just an AI with no personality. So they've made this new game mode that they've kind of testing out and playing around with, right? Where the whole basis of the story is... TB wants to understand what a personality is and how to do a personality. So you go to like the shopkeeper MP, not not NPC, but I think her name is like Akaski or something. Go to Akaski and she's like, I'm going to build like this VR simulation type thing, right? Um, It's going to cost you 20 gazillion million coins because I'm the shopkeeper girl or whatever, right? In the story, right? Um, and and so so they do this right they build this like ai virtual world type thing and what happens is is that the cute uh the ai girl cuts herself off from the database right so it's just the ai without any of the database stuff right and the whole thing is you're raising the ai from literal fucking toddler cute adorable cunny girl to whatever personality ends up happening based on your decisions. And it is literally princess trainer, cunny trainer, you, 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 you fucking, (laughs) yeah, yeah. I'm seeing you switching around. You, 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 yeah. So you go from like, yeah, cute girl. And then, so there's like quiet, there's like preppy. And then there's, um, I think the other one's kind. So there's like three different types you can get right now. And, I I have put so many hours into this shit. Like it is unironically fun because so the whole the gameplay is basically you 
there's two parts to the gameplay, right? Oh yeah, yeah. There's the there's the the, the duckies. You're going too fast. Let me let me let me let me keep talking, Elliot. You're going too quick. You're going too quick. Um. So there's like two components to the gameplay, right? There is you, um, have you you can go outside and do activities that can like boost the mood and can get you different score on on the different attributes based so like oh you do a writing competition she gets more knowledge oh you do like a fishing competition you can get random rewards and money because you did a fishing competition and then there is the weekly schedule where you set up okay here's what she's going to do for the week so she's going to study this subject and this subject she's going to work on this and this she's going to do art she's going to do calligraphy tea making right whatever um and she's going to rest and you have to kind of balance out all of this based on her mood, because if her mood goes too far down, then you get diminishing stat boosts, right, for the things. So you get less score. And the aim is that you have to get the different endings, you have to meet the requirements for those endings. So I'm going for an ending right now that needs like 1,600, you know, knowledge and 3,000 sensitivity, and she needs to have 80 creativity and 25 of this other one right or something like that right and the whole idea is you have to kind of figure out the way to get the stats to go the way you want and while this is happening you also have these little like mini event things so like if you go to the park or whatever as you can see on the screen right now you'll have like oh she played with the duckies and you get the cute little thing of her patting the duckies and she pats the ducks and then you'll have other little interactions where she'll like you know you have little conversations with her where she'll like be doing these adorable things um and one of them actually like fucking killed me <laughs> i don't know if you've got that one no, ready to come up no oh well there was one that happened that was so fucking adorable that i like i was like oh man oh man i'm 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 getting attached to the fucking anime character <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm losing it <laughs> i'm losing it um but yeah there's, there's yeah so there's different cgs that pop up throughout the mode and whatnot that you can uh, i think you might have a few of those possibly i do lined up um yeah so that's yeah there you go she's 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 going to the gym she's getting ready to do some track doing some stretches right yeah yeah it's like and they're all really good it's all really like they put so much work into this Ellie. like it's actually insane like all the different artworks and all the different little conversations she has and all the different little things like for a little mini game thing that they're kind of like beta testing right now just to kind of see how popular it is that yeah they've put like so much work into this it's actually insane um because it's like a small part of this mobile game right like it's a small thing of you know, the overall azure lane thing but man it has taken off people love it and i love it too i think it's like the best thing they've added to the game it could be its own game honestly i think that if you put out a gotcha game that was literally just like you you roll for like like, 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 I can imagine a gotcha game, and I should probably patent this idea and do it myself before someone else does it, right? Like, you do a gotcha game where you're rolling for, like, the kindergarten Akani girls, the little lollies, right? And you get the lollies, and then the whole point of the game is to raise up the lollies, right? And 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 have them go through life, and then you you, you raise them up, right? I think that would be a fucking, like, that's like... A billion dollar idea waiting to happen. <laughs> That's literally like, cause, cause, man, like, I'll just be sitting in bed and I'll be like, man, I could like do like a couple of weeks of trading on TB, right? Like, I'll just pull out my phone and just like, oh, all right, let's do, let's do some, do some, do some stat training, right, on on TB, and it, and it's a, it's something that you can kind of like chip away at, um, when you're not doing anything. And so I yeah, it's such a good update. It's so what a brilliant fucking idea to add to the game, right? And so I'm interested to kind of see where they go with it because right now it is a very like separated part of the game right now because it's in beta, right? It's like something yeah. that they're just sort of it's something that I think they kind of like just did on a whim. <laughs> like it feels like something they just like were like, hey, you know what would be fun? Let's just do this. <laughs> you know like, let's just fucking do this for no reason and just fucking have fun with it right um 
But I feel I feel like in the future it would be really cool if they added like more personalities or they added different characters, like because they do have like lolly versions of ships, right? And they do have like lolly ships in the game, and I could very well see them adding like, oh, you're gonna train, you can train up this lolly ship, right? Like a destroyer or something. That's a that's a lolly, and have her like you get you unlock like the skin, right? Or you unlock like a retrofit of that destroyer that's like an adult version based on your like how you played the the raising game, right? And I think that would be it. That's again, it's like a billion dollar idea to do that. I think, um, and see and see where that kind of goes, and then you could interface that more with the main gameplay, right? So yeah, no, I'm I am fucking invested. I think it's fucking yeah. great. Um, I, if anything happened to my daughter Roo, I will I will kill everyone in the room, including myself. <laughs> I will protect my girl. <laughs> my girl will be protected, even though in that particular one you can clearly see, yeah yeah go back to the little the little little lolly yeah yeah I will protect my daughter Roo. yeah yeah she will play with the duckies and she will live a happy life. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I've been doing. <laughs> that's basically all I've been doing. I, I...